have made a civilization based on science and technology, and then at the same time have arranged things so that almost nobody understands science and technology. That is a clear prescription for disaster. We might uh, get away with it for a while, but sooner or later, this combustible mixture of ignorance and power is going to blow up in our faces. We must make science and engineering palatable. And the thing is, it is so exciting. It is so stirring. I have a friend who's an artist and has sometimes taken a view which I agree with very much. You hold up a flower and say, look how beautiful it is. Green eye. And he says, see, as I as an artist can see how beautiful this is. If you as a scientist, oh, take this all apart and become a dull thing. And I think that he's kind of nutty. First of all, the beauty that he sees is available to other people and to me too. I believe it. Quite as refined and aesthetically as he is, then I can't appreciate the beauty of the flower. At the same time, I see much more about the flower than he sees. I could imagine the soul, the complicated actions. I would also have a beauty. I mean, it's not just beauty at this dimension in one centimeter, there's also beauty at a smaller dimension. If you think about um psychoactive chemicals. Some of them are stupefying, but some of them are portals. And this concept of, if you look at a wall, how do you know that the wall doesn't have a door? How do you know that there isn't a panic room behind the bookcase if you just pull out the right book? We are, we learn to stop looking for the portal. And I think what I, what I do differently than other people is that I became obsessed with exit that there are other worlds and they're real. That this, this mythology of the looking glass and the rabbit hole and the matrix is metaphor for very real things. So most of us are familiar with the beauty of music or maybe the beauty of an opera scene. If you don't work in math or physics or some related field, it might be a little hard to understand the concept of the beauty of an equation. But the equations that describe modern physics, like Einstein's equations of general relativity, or the equations of quantum mechanics, they have a very intense inner beauty and harmony, which is well appreciated by anyone who studies them. And this beauty is one of the things that gives a physicist the passion for physics. To anyone who has the right passion, the insights in mathematics and science have a special beauty that's a little bit hard to describe in words, just as it's difficult to describe the beauty of music in words.